Hey, Edgelords, thanks so much for tuning in on your internet tuner. Uh, we want you to hit subscribe. Isn't that right, Robbie? That's right. That way you'll get the episodes as they come out every single Wednesday. You need it and you want it. Oh, <laughs> that was quick. This oh, time. my. This was Goodness. quick. You that came right in into it. Well, I wasn't prepared for it. Oh, well, I see that. Sometimes the rock just comes. I hope you, <laughs> the rock just comes. And roll. In the, the Edge Lords. Oh my God, we got, we got. I got the. Sometimes the rock just comes. Took me so far aback that I couldn't even. I forgot yeah. what we were doing. I know. I forgot we were doing a podcast. Even. Mm-hmm. What does that mean? Sometimes the rock just comes. It's rock and roll music, and it just uh, it, it 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 just comes quicker than you think. I was picturing the famed wrestler and actor. The Rock just comes. <laughs> yes. And oh, I, was like, I, well, guess, I guess sometimes he does. That's, I'm, I, I hope to God he does, for I his guess, sake. Yes, for God's sake. He deserves I, it. I think he's got a couple of kins. He's kins. earned it. A couple of little pebbles. A couple of kins. A couple yeah. pebbles. Yeah. Do you think the people are wondering why we're, why we're holding the microphones, like a couple of Neanderthals? I was going to say that uh, prior to you pressing record, that uh, don't mention it because no one will notice. Everyone will notice. No one It's cares. all they're talking about at home. In the trades. It's all the variety is yes. running. They're ready to stop the presses. Hollywood Reporter. Yes. Uh, those are the only two that I know. People Magazine. Does that mm. count? People Magazine. Entertainment Tonight. John Tesh can't stop talking about John this show. Tesh. Is John Tesh alive? Yes. John Tesh always remind his hairline always reminded me of the Grim Reaper off of the Tales from the Crypt. Oh, I could see that. Crypt, the Crypt Keeper. Same you know, hairline. You know, John Tesh wrote the uh, NBA Bay basketball. Who's the guy from I Think You Should Leave? The yes. Netflix show? It's one of my favorite Saturday Night Live sketches of all time. He wrote that sketch, and you could tell it was him, and he was just too weird for SNL. And it was so good. It's it one was, of the funniest sketches It's ever. so funny and absurd I, and crazy. I sing that song to myself a lot. Like Basketball! Basketball! Gimme, gimme, gimme the rock <laughs> because I'm gonna dunk it! <laughs> Look it up. Uh, it's a great sketch. It's a great sketch. It's and uh, I think you should leave his... Have, this was turned into a... What's his name? Appreciation. Can't remember his name, but... That's <laughs> a, a, there's a second season. It's an season. appreciation for someone whose name we can't remember. Second... Some, yeah. Sudeikis is always is also good in that uh, sketch, but no, I know this guy. I know I know his name. For God's the sake, the second season is coming out. Yes, it is. Anyway, this is our podcast. We're promoting ourselves. We're going to we become are. huge draws. Detroiters off this. is really funny too. Yes, though, while we're I've here, I've never seen it. Uh, oh, it's really good. Is it? Yeah, yeah it's, it's very got funny. that black dude who can sing, who's on a lot of. I think you can uh, leave. Is really Sam funny. Sam Richardson? Is, is that, that I don't. Know. Yeah, I don't know. He's very. Funny. Uh, my name is Graham K. You are Robbie Slowick. Yes. We are the Edge Lords. Uh, we're the bad boys of comedy, trying to be learning how to be the bad boys of comedy, and it's uh, working. We're, we're the good little boys, and we're getting no, naughty. we're getting edgy. People we're getting are, naughty. I'm getting a lot of. Uh, Complaints from the FCC. Yes, you have. The, you we're the first podcast that get complaints <laughs> yes. from the FCC. They want me taken off of the airwaves. What is the, what is the, the uh, FCC stand? Fiscal Conservative. Fiscal Conservative Corporation mm. of America.com. Mm. 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 We're too liberal. We're too liberal. We're too liberal. We spend too much money and we're liberal. Anyway, uh, that joke sucked. We're not uh, great, but here we are. Here we're keeping we are. it. Yeah. We're keeping we got an exciting uh, uh, podcast ahead. You've got a really funny guest. We have a guest in studio. That's why we're sitting like this. Very exciting. Why? We, wouldn't we normally be sitting No, like we would have the arms and we, would be, we wouldn't be holding these things. No one, you know? no one notices. Everybody notices the <laughs> arms. Even the people listening, the, the non-YouTubers, just mm-hmm. the audio people who, by the way, audio people, if you're on your phone right now, go ahead, hit like and subscribe, leave a comment and a review. For us, they notice these things. They do notice they these things. They have questions for us. Yes. Um, I would like to say that, uh, we are getting big. The point of this podcast is so we can become draws yes. on the road. Yes. And, um, I had a few, uh, uh, little Lords. Oh, you had some little Lords come out to some shows? A couple edgies. Some edgies came out? In, uh, Chattanooga and Atlanta recently. Yeah? Yeah. That's great. Mm-hmm. Couple. Couple edgies? Couple edgies. That's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Come out to shows, edgies. Um. Uh, well, certainly shows is one of the ways that we make money. A boatload of money. A boat. We're really rich. We are rich people. Yes. And uh, that is wealthy. All... Uh, we believe in the trickle down economy. Yes. We except don't want to pay our taxes. I do not. Uh, I, I don't let any trickle down. No. I hoard. I believe that's in a, how it works in a hoarder's economy. Yes. 
Uh, and when the the poor's they reach their grubby hands up for the they money that try. I've earned. If they if they try hard enough, they can snatch it from you. That's what it is. So it's not yeah. a trickle down as much as a steal from yeah yeah, yeah. from the hoarders. <laughs> And I'm proudly a hoarder of wealth. Yeah. And uh, let's add to that wealth right now mm-hmm. uh, with a new sponsor. Very excited for this new one. New sponsor, exciting yes. new sponsor. Uh, this is a company, uh, well, in a very specialized marketplace. This is They Undies. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you need underpants for a job interview but don't don't want to pay the ridiculous prices from globalist companies like Hanes and Kirkland? And do you like the environment or whatever? Then you need They Undies, the world's first upcycled underpant delivered right to your crotch. They Undies are breathable. Because of the holes. Yes. The wear and tear from the previous owner makes all the difference. And it's available in completely random colors with an optional cock cage. Really clamps on your pouch. It's like they've woven the bottom half of a shuttlecock in there. (laughs) They Undies are guaranteed clean unless you pay extra. Looking at you, Japanese businessman. So use code used underwear for a discount. That's a reputable company. It is a reputable We're company. Happy to have them on board. Yeah, they're helping the environment. They're helping the environment. They're helping people get the underwear they deserve. Upcycled. Upcycled. Sourced. Yes. Sourced. Yes. Repurposed. Repurposed. I'm looking for there's a word I'm looking for that they say now instead of pre owned for cars, but I can't remember what it is. And it's bothering me. I asked a guy, I said, I went to like one of these like uh, Russian guy cell phone fixers. Uh-huh. And, uh, and I was like, do you have uh, any used iPads? Because uh-huh. I, I want to just read the newspaper in the morning. Yeah. And, and, and he's like, uh, we don't have any used. We have uh, some pre-owned though. Yeah. They say pre-owned instead of used. So you have to just assume that someone owned it and never once used it. Never once used it. Yeah. Never did not masturbate once on it. <laughs> And Bullshit. we know that's not true. Um, well, should we get to our guest? Let's get to our guest. Uh, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, here he is. We have got a special guest here We really today. do. I'm One excited. One of my favorites. This guy's done every late night show, including eight Conans. And eight. Word on the street is over the ninth in the can that didn't even happen because of this old pandemic. Wow. Sing it, sister. Uh, he's, he's a victim. He's a victim. He's a victim. Uh, and we hate that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, because we're alphas over here. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. His hour special out to lunch has over six million views. Insane on YouTube. He is the co-host well deserved of two immensely still insane two immensely popular podcasts, Tuesdays with Stories and We Might Be Drunk, and he is here from us right now. Guest Lord, welcome, Daddy. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Norman. Mark hey. Norman, wow. Thank you, thank in you. In studio. This is our second in studio second guest. Second in studio guest. Yes. yes. Good yes. to be here with you, cucks. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Too See, many I, don't like that. Swinging. I don't like that. Right, I respect sorry. it. That hurt sorry. me. I respect it. I apologize. It. It's got yeah. alpha energy, and I like it, actually. But I'm, I want to be on top. Well, you better earn it. Power um, bottom, let's be honest. All right. <laughs> yeah, right. uh, so, Mark, what we're going to do here is we're going to ask you a series of questions and then we're going to assess you on levels of edginess between one and five kettlebells. Oh, got it. You want five. It. I need some on it. Five is good. You're going to need on it to yeah. really yeah. on yeah. it. Yeah. That's All right. the only way. Edgy, right. edgy light, light round. round. <laughs> it's electric. Ooh. Mm. Uh-huh. A little mm-hmm. flare. Mm-hmm. That was fun. Uh, Possibly homophobic. We don't do. <laughs> <laughs> Who's to say? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who knows? Uh-huh. Yeah, we don't do we don't we don't we're not uh, we don't work with on it here. We work with a uh, subsidiary, um, a competitor, yep, mm. uh, subsidiary of S.E. Johnson Wax, a family company um, uh-huh. called Alpha Cunt. Alpha Cunt, is that <laughs> yes. brand. Yeah, it's a cunt. Yes. horrible fraternity. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the Alpha Cunts are coming. <laughs> uh-huh. All right. Um, will I start off or will you? You're, you're going right. to start us off here. We're going to start you off with the holy trinity of questions that we start all our guests off with. Mark Norman, um, what is your favorite drug, cigarette brand, and alcohol? And you have to have each. Uh, okay, my favorite drug is shrooms. Oh, good by one. A, by a country mile, which is where I grow them. But uh, yeah, I like shrooms. I think it's the best drug. They last five hours. There's not much of a hangover. Yep. Uh, there's no real side effects. Good times with the shroom. What was mm-hmm. your first time with shrooms? Wow, probably high school or college. I mean, I've been dabbling for uh, for a while now. So, uh, yeah, big fan. Okay. You can do them on a music fest. You can do them 
in your apartment. It's a good time. That's true. This is a sales pitch. This you can do nice. them alone or this with friends. A, this yeah. is a Ronco for, yeah. for mushrooms. Set it and forget it. You can't really you can do, do it on like a crowded subway, though. True. That gets a little, yeah. you see some faces out there, yeah. some yeah. Puerto Ricans. Yeah. yeah. So I like, uh, I just like a nice chill, chill hang with a shroom. Okay. Mm-hmm. Don't do them in Puerto Rico. It is. Oh, it's, you'd be surrounded by Puerto Ricans there. So many. Yeah. So Overrun. many on the subways there. Yeah. Um, and then cigarette brand and alcohol. I don't know. I've never uh, smoked an f- entire cigarette. I don't really get it. It looks cool. Uh, but I, I'd, I'd like the guy who rolls his own just because it's like 16 cents cheaper and he has to have that image. <laughs> yes. Yes. So yes. that's fun. And he's putting some work into it, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's all right. I go, I go with the cigarette roller guy and then the alcohol. I like, uh, I like a tequila. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. it's supposedly the only one that's an upper, whatever that means. The hangover is less. It's clear. It doesn't have too much bite. I'm going to Keel. You think the hangover is less? Yeah, that's see, what I've, I I've hear. never heard that. Go no. clear. Don't go, well, I'm not a Scientologist, but don't go at Neho. Right. What is that? That's mean? the gold. That's the brown. Gold. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. I think that's the most drunk I've ever been in my life was off a uh, like six dollar bottle of tequila Ooh. called Montezuma. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and uh, that's, that's the, perhaps that's, that's Anejo. I don't know. No, it's not. Okay. But it is also six dollars. I ruined forty eight hours of my life. Yeah. Yeah. It, was, yeah, yeah, it yeah. was pretty brutal. Were you in the below the border? I was no. I was I was in Tampa, Florida. They don't have that there. Uh, uh, I think it's made in true. Vermont. Yes, that's true. <laughs> but I was nineteen years old, mm-hmm. and I was like my friends were coming back into town from college, and we were. Part Partying and I had like 12 shots in about an hour. And then I was on the bathroom floor the rest of the night, passed out in my own vomit. Pussy. Yeah. yeah. No, it wasn't. It's not a good look for me. It's, it's yeah. not one of my proud moments. You shouldn't. Moments. Our, cut, our, our audience members shouldn't. We should, you should cut that out. Yeah. Well, it's going to hurt our image. I think that they'll respect that I've made some mistakes and I've rallied and I've come back. I'm a, I'm a triumphant story. I'm a victory story. Yeah. The, yes. the, the, the now edgies. I drink exclusively tequila. It's pretty edgy and to make mistakes and <laughs> we just realize you made you a mistake. Montezuma. That's a great name. Yeah. Hey, yes. Monty. Yes. That would help my career for sure. People uh, would like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. We're off to a good start. All right. Uh, Were those Mark? edgy enough? Should I go? Should I edge it up a little? I'm edging right now. You are mm-hmm. edging, yeah. Look, mushrooms are kind of hippie-ish, but mm. you know, I, I like the answer. You were confident about it. You liked it. You managed to. Push Wasn't the edgy answer with the minority, mushrooms? Though. Yeah. All right. Um, Sorry. I'll, I'll bring up the heat a little. You made fun of hippies a bit. That's good. We yeah. Like that. like the Get a job. Your cigarettes, Get know? a haircut. Get yeah. a damn job. All right, uh, Mark. What is your best tattoo? And you have to have one. Ah, I got a swastika in the lower back mm-hmm. tram stamp area. <laughs> That's a great place for <laughs> you it. You know, the, the guys can just shoot a load right on that <laughs> puppy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cover up the swastika. It's nice. You're yeah. kind of doing like yeah. And it's if it's a if it's a, a Jewish guy. Then it's, it's a you're, win. You're, it's you're helping. You're right. Exactly. You know, it's a target. You're defiling the symbol. Mm-hmm. So exactly. it's fun. You're doing that for the people. For yes. the chosen. Here, here. The people you chose. And he'll be yeah. circumcised, so it's going <laughs> to slide in easier. And well. I, I call my asshole the gas chamber. So uh, <laughs> it all works. <laughs> it all works out. <laughs> all right. Uh, that's a good answer. Um, you're from New Orleans. Born and raised. What's better? Jambalaya? Gumbo? Or General Tso's chicken. Mm, well, you know, I hate the Asians. Yeah. So I'm going to go. Have. We all yeah. know that. Yep. Hashtag start Asian hate. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go gumbo. <laughs> <Target>. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going gumbo as the, uh, the, the fucking number one. Great. Greatest maybe Creole, Cajun, whatever you want to call it, food. Yeah. You know what a gumbo is? No. It's just everything is thrown in the pot and they just made it work. So you got shrimp, chicken, sausage, okra, onion, celery, whatever you you name it, bacon, oysters, and it's fantastic. I was in uh-huh. uh, New Orleans, New Orleans, New Orleans, New Orleans. We say I was in New Orleans uh, a week ago, and Sean Patton uh, had a his, his family is caterers. Yes, and they had a, a a crawfish boil with homemade jambalaya. And it was incredible. I thought about I'm still thinking about it. It was too you've much. Killed, you've killed yeah, Mark. Killed Mark is dead. <laughs> Mark, Mark has died Mark, on this podcast. Mark finished edging. <laughs> it's <laughs> over. Uh, the swastika has been covered up. Uh, yeah. uh, that is the best outing in America yes. is that crawfish boil. And you, can't, you can get Ethiopian food in New York. You can't get a goddamn crawfish boil. Isn't that crazy? It's weird. Why is that? Yeah. I don't know. I guess because it's so southern. Maybe there's what about, a southern there's, hatred. There's a, I don't know. There's a place. Uh, there used to be a place called Big Daddy's Crawfish. But I don't think they have a crawfish. Yeah, crawfish. there's they a little have a boil. joint yeah. called Bubba Gump Shrimp in Times <laughs> Square. <laughs> good point. Uh, family. That's a good joint. point. Different crustacean, but still. 
That's from a movie. So we need a we need a Tom Hanks movie about crawfi. Crawfi, plural. That's amazing. That's mm. news to me. Hmm. Uh, all right, here we go. Oh, this is a big one. This Ooh. is an important question. Hit Martin. me, Montezuma. Die Hard or Rambo? Ooh. Well, Rambo is the more over the top picture, which is another Stallone movie. But uh, it's like <laughs> nice, <laughs> so ridiculous. Like uh, the guy in the woods, he's an ex Navy SEAL or ex Marine, and he's got jizz on his face, and he's out in the woods and killing all the men just with sticks and logs. But I think Die Hard as a movie is better, and it broke the genre a little bit. You know, he's a yeah. he's a one man band, uh-huh. ex cop. He's funny. He's uh-huh. got no muscles. He's sho- shoeless. You know, and so, uh, and it was a Christmas movie. I agree with that. It is a Christmas movie. I think a lot of people have this big debate. I know. There. People need lives. But I will say the third Reginald Vell Johnson vehicle where he's a police officer. Yes. Talk about typecasting. Yes. Ghostbusters, he's a cop. Uh-huh. Turner and Hooch, he's a cop. Oh, yeah. Die Hard, he's a cop. And on the show Family Matters, Family Matters. he's a cop. Yeah, four times. Four times he's a cop. Yeah, so uh, defund Reginald Vell Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's that. I think uh, he's dead. That episode ah. of Family No, he's not, is he? No. He's not God, dead. I couldn't handle yeah, it. Yeah, killed, killed by the police. Actually. That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he can't breathe. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, you're a co- Wait, is it mine or yours? It's mine. It's yours. You're a co-host of two podcasts. Two very funny podcasts. Thank you. Tuesdays with Stories. Oh, with yeah. Joe List. Here, here. And a newer, We Might Be Drunk with Sam Morell. Queer, queer. Who do you like more? <laughs> well, Sam is Jewish, so that takes him down a peg. Mm-hmm. But uh, been there. I've been there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. List, I've been doing it with longer, but he has herpes. So, <laughs> mm, it's a tough call. They're both tall drinks of semen. So, mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I like them both for different. One of them is like an old hard-boiled detective. He's got a five o'clock shadow. And the other one is like a neurotic... Um, One is like more weirdo. Jewish. Yeah, yeah. Joe is way true. Jewier yeah. than that's Sam. That's kind of true. Yeah. I also find it hard. Wait, who's got herpes, Joe? Yeah, you don't. All, how do all three of you not have herpes? You all should have herpes. Yeah, he's married and sober, and me and Sam are uh, booze bags yeah. who do mm-hmm. the road like animals. So yeah, that's a good question. I'm, I'm very lucky. I dodged that uh, that red bullet. <laughs> you sure did. You're Neo out there. You are because yeah. the bullets are flying at you. Is my understanding? Yeah, just labias. <laughs> Neo. Over my shoulder. Neo. Uh, all right. Oh, and speaking of uh, Montezuma, which Muppet do you find most sexually attractive? Ooh, that's a hell of a question. Well, I, I would say Cookie Monster because I feel like you could really get a, some head from that guy. Just mm-hmm. he, he's going to go, he's gonna go for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but then there's no gullet. It just hits that felt and he spits, comes back. He spits out. He's a he spitter. Does. He's not a, a swallower. Sure. He can't swallow you even a cookie, yeah. let alone my uh, you know ejaculate. So I might go. Gr- I might go. Even though I fucked my sh- fair share of pigs over the years, <laughs> I'm going to go with uh, Grover. Grover. Yeah. 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 Or maybe the Count, because vampires are sexy. Mm-hmm. I like the Count. I yeah. like the Count. As and he's a, got an accent. And, yeah, he'll a count, cape. A little two Stigo. throats every time. One. Uh, 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 Good you know? point. Good mm. point. Maybe I wouldn't go oral. I would just hit him from the back. Mm-hmm. There we go. Right up the uh, the felt, and I'd take the black stick and move his hand. That felt would hurt. <laughs> that felt would, I think it would, it would you get pretty raw going that angle with the felt. Yeah, well, it's all felt. That's true. That you're not winning yeah. anywhere. Would he count up. the thrusts? Ooh, Would that one, make you one, feel pressure? Uh, 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 you're a three pump jump. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. Uh, Autism. I heard he had. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Um, you have six appearances on Conan. Oh, sorry, eight. Thank eight, you. Eight. Eight. Who's counting? Eight appearances on Conan. It could have been nine. Um, but there was a uh, the panda the pandy. So you have eight appearances on the Conan Show, which mm. recently came to an end. What is it like ostensibly uh, having six or eight Lopez tonight's? <laughs> I'd kill for a Lopez tonight, but uh, yeah, I, Conan was a lucky break. Nobody would book me. He booked me. JP Buck, shout out to the Booker. Good Same egg. You guys did. You did one. I did Conan. Oh, yeah. thank God. Yeah. Okay. You did one? No, no, no. Oh, you did Colbert. No, no, JP never got back to me. (sighs) Sorry. Well, look where he is now. Mm -hmm. (laughs) He's uh, homeless. On my first set, the first set I sent JP, Goldman sent it to JP on my behalf. And then JP sent back notes that were like, they made me feel like you will never do stand-up on this show ever. He just ripped the set. 
to shreds. But that's a con- that takes time yeah. and effort. So that meant I think there was J- something there. JP did do that to me. Yeah, and then never got back. Oh, but well, he then did, I did. He didn't I give me the courtesy of Terry, but which I, is fine. I put his notes. Yeah, he it took like it took like I think almost two years from that first email wow. to actually getting on the wow. show. Wow. Yeah. yeah, it took me about a year and a half, but two. That's pretty bad. He let me. I I asked if I could put the notes on my Instagram, and he said, "Yeah, go for it." Oh, nice. So people were like, "Jesus, it's just red line, yeah. red line." Yeah. He's a super nice guy. JP was like very sweet. Sweet guy and he yeah. gave a shit. Whereas other people are just worried about their ass. He's like, I think this joke could be better. Yeah. Right. He also That's let cool. me add a joke the night before. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, I love that. Yeah, yeah. So he was great. Adding a joke the night before. Yeah. My God. Uh-huh. That's pretty good. If the go- if joke is good, why not? Yeah, yeah. He was good about it. Eight appearances. You ever add a joke the night before? Not the night before. Maybe, uh, you know, five days or a week, but a night. Ballsy. Yeah. I added, I had to do an alt for the Tonight Show because I couldn't say Christ. Wow. And so what did you say? Uh, terrific. <laughs> ah, wait, how does that even... Oh, that's right, when you're four... Right, Just okay. like words that 40-year-olds say. Oh. And, uh... Christ and is I... so funny, because you picture like a dad going, Christ. Yeah, yeah it was supposed to be Christ and bullshit. Because mm. when you get older, you separate... There's a space oh, yeah. between yeah. bull and shit. shit. Yeah. True. And, uh, and I had to change those, and I, I only... I was on, I found out late, I found out like two days before that I was going to do it, so I didn't have time. So the night before, I had to think of, I had to come up with those alts. Very, very, uh, And what, you scary. terrific, and what was the other one? Uh, absolute bull. Okay. Oh, that's pretty yeah. solid. Yeah. Solid save. Yeah. Yeah. I had to fight, they, they took a bunch of stuff away from me on The Tonight Show, but I fought for two. One was piss. Yeah, they wanted me to change the P, and I'm like, piss is right. so much. It's got a kick, yeah. piss. Yes, and it killed the night of the roots died. And I remember looking at you know uh, Michael Cox being like, and you eh. fought for piss. I fought for piss, and yeah. it, it killed. And then I fought for boner, and they wanted me to just drop the whole thing. Yeah, but I got boner on, which Good also did well. Nice tonight. I should have fought for Christ, but I, I nah, that's well, not. Good. They made me take that. A lot that of people out. have done that over the past oh, two thousand years. I yeah. said Jesus Christ, and they were like, yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. That's funny. What's funny is the reason why I got on is because they were going to have two rappers on but one of them committed murder but they <laughs> rap about murder the whole the, the whole Isn't time that funny and i uh, they were gonna have people on talking about murder yeah. yeah and i couldn't whatever i'm not gonna i'm very uh, appreciative and happy that i got on so rap is okay. tough people yeah, are rap scared is to tell yeah. black people no yeah like i live in the village and all these uh like super scary white lady Karens are like, hey, where's your mask? But then a black guy yep. walk by without a mask and they're like, good to see you. Yeah, and you're yeah. like, what? What happened to equality? Yeah. Uh, uh, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah. But it's, you know, it's black. They don't, they don't know any black people. Yeah, I guess so. So yeah. they don't know what to, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, what, did it, was there an answer? What was the question? I think we went off on a tear. Uh, Lopez tonight. No, we oh. did I think, Lopez, I think we answered that. Okay, right? yeah, 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 yeah. You said you'd love to have a Lopez tonight. I'd love to. I that think, was short-lived. Yeah. How much time did someone have to do? It was like, that was like 10 months you had yes. an opportunity at a yes. Lopez tonight. That's a tough one, too, because everybody's always like, there's so many white late-night guys, and you're like, yeah, there are. Oh, here's Lopez tonight. And now it's gone. Gone. Like, what, what happened? In Arsenio, whatever. I, mean, I loved Arsenio. Yeah. Arsenio was, was great. Good. That was a fun yeah. show. Fun yeah. show. Yeah. 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 Ever see when he calls when he gets called a homophobe on the show? And no. He flips. Oh, give that a goog. It's on YouTube. From the newer version or the older one? The uh, the original. Some guy was like stood up. He looked like Freddie Mercury, and he's like, "You don't have any gay people on your show." And he's like, "Motherfucker, I'm black. I'm black." <laughs> and, like they're going at it, and it's wild. I don't know if it made it to air, but it's on YouTube. Uh, there's the, there's also the moment he calls out Vanilla Ice Ooh. for uh, like saying talking trash about MC Hammer. Mm-hmm. And it is an unbelievably <laughs> awkward interview worth watching. Ooh, uh, watch Arsenio was pissed about Vanilla Ice disrespecting MC Hammer. Yeah. And MC Hammer's not, or, or uh, Vanilla Ice is not backing down. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's very awkward and uncomfortable. Vanilla What's Ice his is argument? on top. Huh? What's his argument? Vanilla Ice? Yeah. Is, he, he's like, I just don't, I don't talk about that. I'm doing my own thing. I'm doing me. And, and, and Arsenio's like, but he hired you at first. You should have respect for this guy. He's like, yeah, he, whatever. He's great, but I'm doing my thing. But he's, meanwhile, he's got, his hair is like, yeah, you know, yeah. He's got, he's wearing a, like a shiny green. He looks ridiculous. Oh, you think because he, because he, He's saying, Arsenio's saying he stole his style. Basically, he's yeah. saying like, and I think he did work for Hammer at some point. Right, like right, Hammer right. Oh, was a dancer yeah. or something. That's fucked right, up. Right, right. Uh, but it's just very funny watching a man dressed like MC Hammer being like, he's doing his thing, I'm doing my thing. <laughs> <laughs> when not, he's like doing an impression of the guy. <laughs> did you ever hear him do the, uh, when they interview him, like, this is a David Bowie song. And he's like, no, no, no. David Bowie goes, yes. bum, 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 And then they're like, well, what about you? And he goes, mine goes, bum, 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 bum,
See? See? Yeah. Different time. Yeah. <laughs> different time. <laughs> it would That'd be great. so amazing to have that level of confidence. I know. <laughs> well, I think he's just a stupid person. That could yeah. be that, too. Yeah. But sometimes those things just go hand in hand. Yeah. Now he's uh, guarding the border. Vanilla ice. <laughs> Is he? <laughs> He's That's like, an ice joke. <laughs> oh, no, that was not clear. That was my no, fault. No, it's just too believable <laughs> that he would be. Yeah, yeah, you know, I really is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I could see that. Could be a fun sketch. <laughs> yeah. Vanilla ice, you know, at the border. That would be great. That'd be good. Don't uh, steal that. We'll do it. I uh, will do it. Vanilla ice. Uh, it, all right, Tamsi Hammer. Oh, Mark. There you go. To you. I got it. Uh, <laughs> did I get it? I Move, on. Move on. Move yeah. on. Move yeah. on. Cut. I Edit. Count it. Favorite way to shred your bod? Oh, well, I'm a I'm a psycho. I do the I do seventy push ups every morning, wow. and I do uh, fifty. What do you call it? Lunges or squats or whatever. Uh-huh. And uh, then I hit the scaffolding. I do at least uh, about sixty pull ups a day. Sixty? How many well, in a set? many sets? I do like twenty five here, twenty there, another twenty. You know, throughout the day. You can you can crank twenty five in one set. Though. Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, they're getting a little wonky towards the end, yeah. but uh, I'm getting at least to the eye or That's the nose. That's such a fucking New York and answer. You do, you do you do like this or like this? You got to go like this. Yeah. yeah. White power. It's yeah, the only yeah, way. Because yeah. this, this, I mean, it's such a great route, not to get all, you know, cum guzzly here with the personal training, but this works out the forearm, the grip, the tricep, the shoulder, the back, the core, the the clavicle collarbone area the it's just so such a all encompassing workout that you almost don't don't need to do other stuff mm-hmm. that's how good of a workout this way is this way is just bicep so get on it just do five it, it's I, a, I, it's a day change what makes enough? you think we're not doing it every yeah, day we're doing it. i've never Come seen on. a scaffolding what, 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 it's being three gay guys well i i bought a you I, should see I, our I, clavicles. Bought a, I bought a i bought a, a pull-up bar in my home hey. like like a like 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 a non-psycho yeah. i don't need to it's, impress homeless it's people very new york <laughs> very new york to say i hit the scaffolding yeah yeah for well, working it's up out. there you know it's by law they do that the, scaffolding so people can work out on? Well, a big piece of building fell on a lady oh, yeah, know, yeah, 11 years ago. It, yeah. And so they have a rule every five years, every single building in the city has to do a checkup. So these scaffolding companies are making a, a killing. Yes, just some dudes out in Jersey. Yeah. Just, yeah. God bless yeah. them. Setting up some pipes and then taking them down. Um, so yeah, pull up, forward facing. I agree. Um, it's good. We all look great. Yeah, you guys look great too. Yeah. I, I used to work out. It's yeah, nice. well, you're a, you're a, you're the perfect male uh, form or what do you frame, whatever you want to call it. What are you six three, six three and a half? Oh, mm-hmm. who's counting? Two hundred pounds. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah lean. tall elite lean, athlete. Lean. Yeah, five o'clock anal, the whole mm-hmm. thing. I break down a lot. Hairy chest. <laughs> yeah. Big oh, time. that's that's even better. Mm-hmm. Me it? and me and Rob are a couple of twinks over here. Yeah, I got I a, a I got a message there. from a random person today. Um, I have a sketch where I'm not wearing a shirt from that I posted maybe a year and a half ago. Smart. And a little, little, little Twinkie guy was like, I love I love your hairy chest, daddy. Yeah. Ooh. Post more pics of your chest, daddy. Yes, that, yeah. was, that was me. I, I was <laughs> sending you those messages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, cl- I clicked on it. It didn't look like you, but it, I could have been. It's my alt account. You, yeah. have, you, you, go, yes. you have brown face. That's right. And you. <laughs> oh, he's a little uh, brown guy. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. yeah maybe Latinx. We'll say X. Uh, okay. Yeah. So he's not Latin anymore then. Well, he's something. Um... I get a lot of gay love online, but that's I, I, for another I, kind I, I of podcast. That. I believe that. Um, I don't get enough. I'll talk to some people. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll talk to my guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Prappy Pride, by the way. What's speaking of which? What's your oh, favorite? I'm out of frame. What's your favorite? We got well, we got this. Guy. Oh, you got that guy. Okay. Okay. What's your favorite all time babe, man or woman? Oh man. Well, I'm a sucker for the uh, the Angelina. I know it's hack, and I know she's a little older now, but to me, that is her face is like my ideal lady face. Just love, and she's kind of wacky Thanks. and grungy and uh, yeah. tattooed and yeah. dark and brooding and tortured. Give me the whole shebang. She what's, seems like a kooky whore. I love it. What's your favorite era? Billy Bob Thornton era, Angela? Yes, Angela? yes. Yeah. She's thin and she's fucked up. She's got a vial of blood. Blood around her neck. Yeah. Oh, she hates her dad. Like, give me the whole thing. And I don't like her dad either. John Voight. Oh, John Voight. 
Driving around in John Voight's car. <laughs> that's, that's all I think of when I hear I know, his name. I know, I know, same. There's an episode of Seinfeld. John Voight bit you? <laughs> Check his teeth marks. All right. I know the whole episode. But uh, so she's, I mean, she'll always be number one. By the way, I know I'm getting older when Pete Davidson is fucking the daughters of women I wanted to fuck. He's fucking, Wait, he's fucking her daughter? Well, he was fucking uh, Cindy Crawford's daughter. Oh, that part I knew, yeah. And then Larry David's daughter, who I'd like to fuck Larry David. He's my hero. Mm. So, yeah. That that's just a whole other thing, but a uh, male hot male guy. You know who's hot, and I know this is hack too. But that that Cavi Henry Cavill Henry Cavill Superman Superman. Yeah. Woo! What yeah. a hunk. Yeah, that yeah. is a handsome man. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. masculine, hairy forearms. Probably the same body type. Yeah, good looking man. Yeah, yeah. Sim- I've been I, people say I look like him. Shut you, up. You have a type. Oh well, well what you are you do doing, doing here? You're like a big strapping man. I mean, yeah. I've, I've, I've I've said that. I've yeah. said that. <laughs> I like to say it. Yeah, you're a man of steel. Yeah, well, that mm. copper, <laughs> aluminum, <laughs> aluminium. Uh, all right, and final question of the edgy lightning round. Oh, geez, we flew through this edge. We sure did. Uh, Mark, what is your favorite euphemism for sex? Ah, the horizontal polka is fun. <laughs> um, let's see. I like I like the hiding the salami is a classic. Yeah. Uh, it's gone. Yeah, <laughs> holy shit. Um, yeah, yeah. That's a good question. Let me let me let me think about that. Take uh, your time. Horizontal polka is a good entry, though. Yeah, the man in the boat. There's just so many. It's the hard. man in the well, boat. Well, that's a, that's a clitoris, that's a clit. I believe. It's a clit. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah, see, yeah. you got it. It's like here. a canoe. Let me show me. Yeah, so. Thank you. That's very edgy of you. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I no, like no, 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 no. <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, and there's so many for masturbation, too. Flogging the dolphin, bopping the bishop, uh, yanking the... Yanking the Penis. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> making the one-eyed man vomit. Jeez. Uh, uh, Choking the chicken, yeah. obviously we've all heard. So the the sex one is a, that's a good question. Riding the pony, uh, I, don't, I like boinkin. Boinkin, Bo- boinkin comes up. Boinkin, boinkin. comes that up as popular. Is that popular? Boinkin. I think maybe a boinkin. third. Nate Bargatze was a was a boinkin. boinkin. Mm, yeah, porkin is too fun porkin. too. Porkin yeah, is fun. Plowing the ladies. Fun. Plowing is one of my favorites. Plowing is good because it's so raunchy. It is. Yeah, it's, it really a, it's just got a, uh, a workman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. put yeah. blue collar. Work. I'm yeah. plowing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right. Yeah, plowed the lady. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Put a shift in. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. What do you guys like? Uh, go. We never had somebody turn it on us. Yes. My God, he is. Well, uh, plowing is my go-to actually. Okay. But then when we had Shane Torres on and he hit us with trade and paint. Yeah. Uh, oh, I don't know yeah. that one. That became a favorite of mine. Yeah. Um. Mm, and there's Red Wings for period. Period. Yeah. I, I've been saying. Uh, I, I've been telling my girlfriend that uh, she makes me uh, fill up my jeans. Ooh, yeah. I like that. That's good. Yeah. That, is, that is good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. knocking boots. Yeah, I like yeah. I like a cream my jeans. Yeah, cream my jeans. <laughs> but that like, that's just you're you're jizzing on yourself. Yeah. Yes. So there's yeah. not Which even is what I like. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. What I'm into. <laughs> Don't can't. go to a strip club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get your money's worth, though. You do get yeah, your worth. yeah, I don't. It's a happy I gotta, ending. I gotta go home, fill up my jeans. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like diarrhea, too. <laughs> yeah, it could be a, all sorts of stuff happens yeah. down there when I get turned on. You don't know. <laughs> you gotta hit a yeah. real laundry bill. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> right. Mark, bear with us. We have to tabulate. Uh, tabulate oh, your got it, got it. Take your time. Yeah. Take your time. All right. All right. So I voted for right. Andrew <laughs> Yang, so I understand math. <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell. Oh, okay. You hate to see this. Uh, so, uh, sure, he's a mushroom drug, guy. We always like, like that. Like, that was a little bad. Uh, yeah, cigarette. cigarette. Mm. No, it's right. nothing on the cigarettes, but like and the idea of rolling his own, which yeah. I can get behind. Alcohol. I like that. Tequila, tequila man is good. Likes to be up. Likes to be up. Doesn't uh, like to be down. Best hat swastika that he lets men ejaculate on to, that, to really I, stick it to the I Nazis. I really don't think I've ever heard anything edgier. That's than, mm-hmm. pretty edgy. Yeah. I'll I take like it. He's a Nazi fighter. Jambalaya. Yeah, no gumbo. Gumbo, mm-hmm. yeah. Gumbo, just straight mm-hmm. up answer. Die uh, hard. Uh-huh. That's fine. Um, uh, I hit you in depth on the die hard thing, which I respected. He didn't really answer who oh, he no liked answer more. Joe Sam List or Sam. Kind of pussied out on that yeah, one. A little bit embarrassing. Yeah. Uh, uh, wants to fuck a surprising amount of the Muppets. I uh, like that. Before we landed on the count. I like that. That's good. He gave us three uh, 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 Muppets. 
Uh, Thought about Elmo, but I think he's underage. A little young. A little young. <laughs> uh, uh, eight appearances on Conan. Uh, favorite way to show? Oh, he's working out his clavicles. That's rare. Very few people are working their collarbones. Yeah. Right? I ran out of body parts. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, Henry Cavill and Angelina Jolie. Yeah, he likes dark hairs. He likes, uh, he likes, likes oh yeah. he likes your yeah. body type, which yeah. is flattering. That made me I feel think. good. And, uh, um, that's pretty edgy to like me. Yeah, it gave us a <laughs> lot, a lot of euphemisms for jacking off. Yeah, and sex, I like okay. which he seems to equate as being yeah. the same thing, which is concerning a little mm. bit. Mm. But it is edgy. It is edgy. not to finish. It is yes. I yeah, love Louis to be an incel. <laughs> 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 All right, here. here we go. All uh, right, what are you thinking? Yep. Yep. I agree. Mark, ah. five, five kettlebells, kettlebells, five kettlebells. Oh, five. Hey, all right, is that, is that Joe Rogan level or? That is Joe Rogan. Oh wow! Oh, Look at that. Absolutely, is Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's our daddy. He has six. He's the only one with six. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone else has five. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can't Thanks, gang. match Rogan. So that uh, qualifies you for our next uh, section. Little something we call scalding hot takes. Oof. Burn me, Daddy. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh-huh. I think that's the guy who messaged uh, Graham there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it yeah. might have been. You want to kick us off? Um, this is uh, pretty edgy. All right, just hold on. Oh, God. Hold on to your dicks. Mm-hmm. Um, steak and lobster are overrated. Agreed. They're not that good. They're, they're just from an earlier time when they were so hard to get. Yeah. And so they were held on a pedestal. But if you really eat a steak or a lobster, they're fine. And then you feel like shit after, especially a steak. Mm. And it's very expensive. A hamburger is better than a steak. Mm. A good hamburger is better than a steak. Tastes better. Interesting. I, I haven't eaten steak in about a decade. I'm, I'm uh, about seven years. You look I've like been, it. I've been off of beef. Yeah. I'm, very, I'm lacking iron. I'm very mm-hmm. sick. But I remember loving a good, rare steak i just mm. like it. lobster on the other hand is like any of the, the shelf is work you gotta mm-hmm. do a lot, a of, lot work of work to get the stuff out of mm-hmm. it it's okay and also with lobster i i could never like sentence one of them to death you know oh like, yeah take it and they jump it in the boiling pot i just alive. not into it burning them yeah. alive and yeah. then you're in the tank you pick the the lobster you want to die yeah. so you can consume it with a bib on but i think that's yeah. like we all Eat the cow or whatever. I mean, you yes. should have to. If, that, if you're going to do it, you might as well. That's why I stopped mm. eating cow. Huh, right. That's exactly why I stopped. Right. But you eat chicken. And I fish. eat chicken because I feel like I could kill chickens, but I don't feel like I could mm. kill a cow. Right. Well, I could kill a prostitute. I'm not going to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> That's a really good point. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Mm. Who yeah. says I haven't? Mm. Yeah. Uh huh. Now, do you have to pay as much if you eat a prostitute? No, it actually, uh, you, you get her money. She's dead. <laughs> so, oh, you're, so you're making money off her. Yeah, right. you take right, her purse. Right. Well, that's well, worth it. It's part of the fun. But uh, I was thinking about eating her out. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that I would never do. I was looking, yeah, at, the, I was looking at the diagram. Like, I got caught I? up in the diagram. <laughs> I'm sorry, the man that. in the boat. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's why I actually killed her on a boat. But uh, <laughs> no, I, I'm with you. I think it, it's proof of branding. Like lobster yeah. is is kind of horseshit. It's like poor man's sea bottom food, and mm-hmm. yet. With branding and a good publicist, yes. it's all of a sudden high society, you know? Yeah. And they're like twenty eight ninety nine market price, whatever that is. Don't yeah. you, hate, you hate seeing market price. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the Saudis involved in this? Yeah. What is the market, <laughs> exactly. the market price? Why is this so vague yeah. and ambiguous? Yeah. Where are we at on lobster? Right? Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. yeah, so, and the steak, I'm with you. It's just the, a lot of the same thing. A big steak, I'm like, one bite, same as the second bite, same as the third bite, same as the fourth bite. So I'm with you on steak. Yeah. I'd rather a burger. I go with you, and uh, yeah, lo- I'd, I'd take a shrimp over a lobster. I think, yeah, me too. I can't even tell the difference in taste, really. Like, Between a shrimp and a lobster? Yeah. Oh, you could tell. There's definitely lobster shrimp's better. Be very similar taste. Yeah, yeah. You mm-hmm. also don't have any lobster down where you are. You have crawfish and yeah. shrimp. Which is yeah. like a mini lobster, and I yeah. still like it better because it's at least flavorful. This thing, I got to take yeah. it out and dip it in butter? Yeah. yeah. Anything's good in butter. You That's can dip right. a shoe in butter. That's right. I was going to say a boot. I okay. Think, yeah. Canadian version. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Yeah. yeah. I'm uh, I'm with you guys. <laughs> All right, here we go. But that is very controversial. You tell it, tear down a steak, and people get mad. Yep, yep. It's American. Yeah, yep. Prime make a yep. USA beef mm-hmm. Angus. Mm-hmm. We kill and cows Canadian over here. too. We, we really cows. oh yeah. We fucking it's a. Oh, it's the a Japanese China. people one upped us on the beef. Kobe, Kobe. Bryant. Kobe. Yeah. Yes. I don't even know what what's going on with that, but people fucking love it. Mm-hmm. I wonder what the death of Kobe if it's weirder to order. Kobe, yeah. Kobe, yeah, because yeah. some some of that stuff kind of correlates. 
with people su- subconsciously. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't yeah. want to say Kobe right now. Right. Yeah. So I'll just get the fish. I told, I told I kind of feel about this. I'll like, get the with, Japanese uh, meat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like COVID keeps fucking over brand. Like it started with Corona. Right. And yes. then they were saying countries and they pulled back. And now they're doing variant. Now it's like the Delta variant, which fucking sucks for Delta. Like That's funny. Oh, yeah. good point. Yeah. That's funny. They just good keep point. like pulling brands into getting fucked by right. this thing. When uh, wow. when uh, OJ happened, I stopped drinking orange juice. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped killing my wife. <laughs> oh. Prostitutes, though. <laughs> all day. Still fair game. Mm-hmm. Uh, they got right. no family. Good point. Uh, I got another scalding hot take, although probably not more scalding than the prostitute take, mm. uh, but pretty scalding. Hit me. Uh, urban outfitters should be illegal. Illegal? Illegal. Banned. Outlawed. How do you uh, fig? Because it is a place for dull people to go and buy an entire personality. Ooh. Yep. They, it's just top to bottom. Like, here's your little record player and your cool shirt. Agreed. And your sneakers and your little accessories and your little house plant. And I hate it. I just say it just, it's a place for dull people to go buy an entire personality. And it's yes. the worst personality. Yes. Uh, so just ban them. It's, it, them. it's a gap for uh, young people who want to be ulti. I don't know how. Mm, right. Yeah, it's just more comprehensive than yeah. that. You know, because it's not just clothes. They're just right. like, here's here's literally everything. You could walk in right. naked and come out like a 29-year-old yuppie with a mid-level job. And have yeah. and you could have like the right coffee table book. Yeah, the exactly. The right like coffee cultural signifiers. Yes, oh, yes. Yeah. A little Polaroid, Polaroid camera. camera. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's funny. <laughs> it's almost like if one Pinterest became a store. Yes. Like, let me tell you what's cute and hip, and I'll take care of it because you're... An idiot. That's exactly you, what you're. Is. Ad, what is it? Adept? Is that a word? Yeah, uh, adept is good at. Oh, okay. You're you're bankrupt uh-huh. of any style. Mm-hmm. Yes. Aha. Uh-huh. Okay. In in debt. In debt. I am no, in debt. But you're bankrupt. Okay. Uh-huh. Um. All right. I'm here's, with you. Here's another hot take. And if you have a hot take, please uh, jump in. Oh, please jump right. in. But if you don't, I, that's I'm sure. Fine I got too. something. Um, so my next hot take is that people who nine out of 10 people who say they have social anxiety, they're not good at parties or whatever, um, didn't have chores growing up. <laughs> okay. Mm. Explain. I think that I like this. You're, you, the pe- people who grow up they're they're, they're spoiled. Uh-huh. Their parents never, never pushed them. And they just said, you're great. You, you know, you ne- they never were like, go over there and talk to that person. Go over there and do this, 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 this. You, you, you just think that. And one of the reasons why you say you have social anxiety is you're like, oh, I'm I'm unique. I'm special. You yes, know what I mean? Yes. Uh-huh. And they're, you're not. It's like I, I I grew up in a very strict family. I'm nervous around in a party. Sure. We're, we're, we're all the same. We're, yeah. we're all people. Like, yeah. but, but you push through that. Yes. Because I was taught to push through the the pain and i'm not special you know like it's just i every sunday like it's hard to feel like the world owes you anything and right. that you're special when every sunday growing up you had to scrape your dad's dry shit off the inside of a toilet bowl <laughs> was he leaving it there for you i think he might have been <laughs> wow <laughs> kind of I, he, actually he I, I, uh-huh. he really was like he's, he wasn't cleaning it he was like the boy will get it on sunday <laughs> <laughs> he's diarrheaing like this is for the good of my I son. ordered yeah. Peruvian yeah. tonight. Yeah. yeah. Graham's going to have his work cut out for him. Another unchewed steak. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm with you. I'm with yeah. you. Yeah. We're all anxious, but you yeah. call yourself an introvert, then you yeah. feel better. And then you, yeah, go home and sit down in the, in the, with the shades drawn and, uh, you know, paint. Yeah. While we have a good time. Everyone is freaked out. Yeah. But, you know, it's that comfort is a killer thing. You know, you, you just keep going towards comfort, you're going to have a less fulfilling life. If you push through, yes, that's what life's all about. That over the hump, the satisfaction. You know, yeah. you, you build something, you try something, you fail, you try again, you nail it. Sports, whatever it is, that's what it's all about. But a lot of people now, like people are having less sex than they ever had. Yeah, because sex takes a little bit of. Not me. Oh, you're you're getting laid. Yeah. All right. He's trying to have a kid. Oh, Not I me, spelled bro. that hand. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, it's it's kids are having less sex. They say and uh, not with me. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But I think it's because it takes a little bit of awkwardness. Sex yes. is weird. It takes a, a hitting on it, getting rejected, a yes. bunch of messages, whatever it is. So we're so comfortable. We got to. Ju- it used to be kill a, an animal, a chicken. Yeah. Eat it. It was hard to catch. 
Now it's Grubhub right to the house. Like you don't have to go to the grocery anymore and face people at a register. So it's getting. You don't even have to talk to the delivery. You don't have to talk anymore. to the delivery guy. Just make an immigrant leave it at your exactly. door, and you're like, I don't even have to deal with the, 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 any of that. Any I don't of have it. to tip them. It's on the thing. It's on the thing. Leave it outside, you fucking brown person. Yeah. You know, and then you, when they leave, you open the door. I, I had no Just interaction. A hand coming yeah, out yeah, of the yeah, door. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where we're at. And the more we go that way, the more fucked up we're gonna get. Because you see online, everybody's going to 10 on anger and outrage yeah. and personalities or whatever they got to get it out i mean they yeah. gotta you should you should be doing that a little with your daily life and your friends and hanging yeah. and all that so it's it's scary and part of that is from not like seeing and interacting with yes people. when you see and interacting with people you see their humanity yeah you know they're complicated people yeah. and it's so, not just you out there in the yes, world it's, right Everyone. Yeah, and it's so easy to hate someone like through a right. Twitter. Or this is a very unedgy uh, conversation, and I don't like it. I'm sorry. Uh, it doesn't fit. You're right. We should be hating. We should you're be right. hating. You're right. These kids are pussies. Yes. <laughs> they can't have a peanut. Yes. Fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> That's a hot take. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of my, I always that's one of my favorite things to talk about yeah. is the uh, the comic in like the square tip brown leather shoes and the striped button down talking about how when did peanuts become so yeah, dangerous? Yeah. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> right, yes. right. We we rode bikes and scuffed our it's knees. It's a very specific type of comic. It yeah. really is. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I do uh, cruise ships now and again, and uh, it's 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 I am I spend a week with those guys. Yes. Wow. Like, like a couple times a year. The oh, millennial fuck the millennials. Yes. Just this, the the leather square tip shoes, boot cut jeans, uh -huh. button yeah. down, yeah. long striped shirt. People on yeah. the, the cruise yeah. ship comics. Spiky peanut, hair. Spiky hair. Peanuts. Peanuts. Yeah. Yeah. When right. I was in school, we didn't have that man. Yeah. You see the punchline coming from a football field uh, yeah. away. Yeah. Like, oh, easy with the heil. Yeah. Here. But oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see it coming. <laughs> but no, I know what you mean. Yeah, sorry. I love when, no, just when no, cruise ship comics call call there. those uh, land gigs, land gigs. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's one of the funniest things. I in the told world you to that. Me. Yeah, That's I right. you. This guy goes, you know, uh, I don't do any land gigs these days. <laughs> and I was like. I gotta work harder and get off these ships. <laughs> I'm gonna be this guy. Not one of you shore guys. Yeah. yeah. It's like, God damn it. <laughs> oh boy. Boat gigs are rough, man. They are. They are. I've done one and never again. Yeah. I've yeah. never done one and I, I've, I've managed to avoid it. Pay yeah. so well. Yeah, they pay well. You get fed. You might yeah. see a sight or two. You get yeah. laid, get drunk. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a boat gig. That all yeah. sounded, yeah, there you go. sounded fantastic. Yeah. If I'm gonna talk about peanuts or a problem. Uh, all right, here we go. Another scalding hot take for you. Uh, I don't think uh, someone should be able to post a she said yes Instagram post mm. uh, when all their friends know the truth is she issued an ultimatum. Yeah. Yes. When it's like, when we all know when you've been telling us, yes. like she said, I got to do it. Then yeah. like, don't post the she said she yes. She said yes. She said you have to. Yes. You know? That is a specific hot take. I've seen, yes. I've seen a few of those happen. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they say the more you post about how much in love you are and how passionate and, you know, whatever, it's yes. spicy, it's actually... A little dicey. That yes. is 100% true. I was that guy as well. Is that right? Oh, I, really? I, I was pressured into doing it from my ex, like, just to show. And, and it was just like, then it becomes a thing, and then you're doing it, and then it's like, and you mean you're at a bar taking multiple pictures to make sure right. it's right? Yeah. Right. And you're like, I, I remember being like, I can't do this. Like, all these people are behind us making fun of us. I right. can't. Fucking Ugh. do it, and then you post them, and sure enough, like she, she, she like she like would hit me. She would like she was like a verbally, and of course it was like a, this huge blow up breakup, and everyone you know that we held under wraps. Yeah, yeah. no one knew. Every, like she would get like I don't want to like talk too much shit about her, but like she was an alcoholic, and yep. we'd have parties, and we'd have she'd like. She'd she'd like the the, the the switch would flip. Yes. I'm now I'm just venting and and she but you know it was I've like been there. It was like an episode of Frasier where you're trying to hide this drunk person. Yeah, uh -huh. you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're avoiding your own girlfriend. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. And like and they the, come in and she, she's there and you're just missing her, being like, "Fuck yes, you!" Yes, yeah. yeah. And then like, the more people leave the party, like, "Don't go, don't leave me with her." Stay. Yeah, she's yeah. terrifying. Yeah. I've been there, man. It's the worst. I've gotten hotels because I dated girls who were such bad alcoholics that yeah. when they came home, I was like, I can't deal with it. I'm yeah. in a hotel. Oh, yeah. I would my, my thing, I knew it was time to stop because I would wait. I would park the car in L.A. and wait in my car for the podcast to be done because I didn't want to go inside. Whoa. And then, but our Instagram 
was uh, like, they are so in love uh, and super course. cute, and it's just a bunch of fucking bullshit. I would argue there's a lot of that in everything. Like, the BLM Black Square, I think people are, like, at home going, ah, these fucking blacks are getting out of hand, but here's my square. You know, they put the rainbow oh. sticker on the Scud missile. You know, like, hey, we're good. Yeah, that's what it is. Perception. It's that rainbow, it's the, yeah, the Raytheon doing, like, the rainbow flag yeah. and the, the black square, all did, that shit. That did, did that really bullshit. happen? All of all of like the defense contract. Was that all a, have that? Was that a joke? No, the rainbow missile on the. Well, scud I'm no. making a joke. Not, on the scud, yeah, I no, assume that like, was a joke. But and defense then you contractors were like, funny really, joke, but really then, do it. Yeah, okay. And then there was like yeah. even that like CIA commercial. Right, you know, of, like, it's perception. It's yes. yeah, mm. uh, which is what she was doing. It's perception, yeah. but the real world is very different. I mean, the yeah. Republican senator who's like anti-gay is yeah. blowing the dude. Like yes. everyone goes the other way. Always. And she was going the other way. Yeah. And then some activisty people are actually pieces of shit, but they're activisty online because they want to be perceived as good. Clout. Yeah. There you go. It's all very we fixed it. cut and dry. We Three got to the bottom of it. White we guys. solved it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gay. At least. This is a big moment. Pride month. Yeah, I just yeah. came out. Yeah. <laughs> And I'll go back in after the month is over. Yeah. But, well, you, you can choose. So. Yeah. It's yeah. a choice. That's true. Yeah. My hot take. Bacon is fine. We don't have to act like bacon is this second coming. Oh, my God. Bacon. Mm-hmm. Uh, everything with bacon on it is yes. better. It's fine. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of greasy. It's weird. It's fatty. I don't know. I would say that the bacon people are describing is one out of ten bacon. Yeah, there you go. Most bacon that. is less just like fatty, just whatever. It's fine. It's okay. Yeah. Mediocre bacon. Yeah. And uh, your kid looks like every other kid. I know it's yours, but it's just a kid. They all look yeah. the same, much mm-hmm. like uh, black people. And <laughs> you Dude, this like is real ed. This is what I'm talking this about. Is this is what we need. We, uh, we're yeah. not saying shit like this. We're yeah, embarrassing we're ourselves. No. This guy yes. comes on. We don't have the balls. He's bringing the real edge. Yeah. I'm trying. You know, you queefs out here. I got to <laughs> toughen this up a bit. No, but also, liking cold pizza doesn't make you interesting. Thank you. Yes. Oh. That, act, yeah. that That is great. Thank you. That is a great take. It's all over every Tinder bio. Yeah. I like cold pizza and traveling. Yeah. We all like cold Never pizza. Yeah, we all like yeah. to travel. You're not interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, you like the Tenen bombs. What yeah. are you, quirky? Yeah. It's a good movie. It's you a good. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. It's the same as people who love to laugh. Yes. <laughs> I right, love right. to laugh. And yeah. Looking for a partner in crime. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, yeah. <laughs> that would be funny to date her and be like, all right, we're going to kill oh, this old lady. Yeah, yeah. And they're yeah, like, yeah, what? Yeah. Like, I thought you looking for a partner. Wait in the car. the purse. You grab the purse. Wait in the car. When I get back out here, floor it. Right, right. Uh, well, we did we do it? We did it. Did we do a podcast? We did a freaking podcast. Very good. Uh, Mark, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Uh, anything you'd like to promote? Anything you want to plug while you're here? Uh, let's see. I'm doing a clan rally. No, no. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm trying to have some edge. I'm, <laughs> I got a special on YouTube. Give it a give it a goog. Out to lunch. Um, and uh, Tuesdays with stories. He said we might be drunk. And yeah, come see me live on the road. I got a new hour. We're really cooking. So say hello and praise Allah. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. <laughs> I think we all just converted Islam yeah. on the podcast. Who knew it was that easy? <laughs> it's very easy. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Mark. Comedy. And that is our episode, everybody. Yes. Uh, the amazing uh, Mark Normand. Where so the funny. hell did he go? Where did he go? Uh, he's a he's 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 truly edgy. He brought some edge there, huh? He really did. He really did. Yeah, he brought as him, I thought he would. Made it funny and made it uncomfortable all at once. And yeah. Isn't that what you <laughs> yeah. really want? It is. Yeah. Ultimately, I think so. Isn't that what you need from an edge lord? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, Gramule, as we come to the end of the show here, do you uh, you anywhere on the road coming up? You got anything going on? I'm gonna be at uh, Soul Joel's in Royersford, oh, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Soul Joel. Uh, my phone is filming right now, but it is in July, mid-July on a Saturday. Go to GrahamK.com. Go to GrahamK.com for all showtimes and show dates. It's on my website. All right. And I'm st- staying around the city because I'm working on a cool thing that will be, I think, like announced as far as like coming out sometime in the next two or three weeks. So I'll tell you about it then. And uh, But I'm doing stand-up in the city all the time. I don't update my website enough but if you just check on like twitter or instagram i'm always retweeting or posting shows that i'm on my, locally my uh, my city shows are on my website they're connected to my gmail calendar sometimes it will say dentist appointment in there because i mix up the calendars those are mistakes that do happen yes okay well should we say what we always say unless my dad is on the podcast and absolutely. only i say absolutely 
Fuck, fuck you. you.